Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft and our Warlock Retail playthrough. We are leaving the Arathi Highlands today, and we are heading over into the Hinterlands. We need to travel to Raven Tusk Village, and speak with Elder Torn Tusk. So we're going to do that, we are in the queue for another dungeon, and we're going to try to do this one entirely as destruction. Now that we played around with destruction a little bit... I have a, a little bit of a better idea of what I want to do uh, in various situations and how to get some more DPS out of it. Pretty sure I have a recount active. Uh... Oh yeah, okay. I just don't ever remember the commands for it. We will reset that and just have that ready. Alright, it has been a long, long time since I have quested in the Hinterlands as a Horde character. We've done some questing here on Alliance in the Classic, uh, but nothing in retail for, you know, the last 12 or 13 years probably. A lot of quests to pick up though. Uh, the Innkeeper has a quest. He lost his lunch. Lard mentions an island that he left it... On to the north. Watch out for vile branch trolls, okay? Large lunch. Let's be smart this time around and let's immediately make this our new home. Bags are looking okay for the time being. Uh, do we need to go up top here? I think so. Alright, there's the breadcrumb. We have the savage dwarves. The Horde has done much for us Raven Tusk, and we're no freeloaders. With the other forest troll tribes pushed back, we're striking out to claim more land in the name of the Horde. But now the Wild Hammer Dwarves are getting in our way. If it's a war they want, it's a war they'll get. And Thornar Thunderclash. We've been trying to take out the commander of the Wild Hammer encroaching on our lands, but we've had no luck. Thorn Thornar Thunderclash sits in the safety of his command post, his voice booming across the battlefield to rally the dwarves. We're thinking he needs to be quieted. Got a goblin here who has a quest for us. He wants us to collect 12 bottles of Puppelverbose Port. Oh, these are going to be things that are scattered about this area. And they're going to look like this. Who are you be? Stalking the stalkers, many brave trolls have been lost to the harsh wilds of the hinterlands. The Silvermane Wolves are one of the biggest threats to our hunters. They lay in wait, hiding amongst the bushes and landscape. Kill 8. Dungeon search is taking a while. What you looking for? Use the Raven Tusk War Drums on six Raven Tusk Warriors. And there we go, there's our dungeon queue. Looks like it is going to be a Cataclysm dungeon, which we queued up for. It said they couldn't find one, and then it put us in the stone core anyway. That's interesting. Oh, there are quests here. Perfect. Twilight Documents. Alright, uh, the Voidwalker is probably not what we want. Uh, why didn't it go off? Okay, we're just having a rough time right off the bat here.
All right, hopefully we'll get our legs under ourselves here and be able to do a little bit more. We were doing really good soloing. It feels like though we get in here and we just don't have enough like passive AOE. We have direct AOE. And I, I really don't like having to aim the templates. It, it takes me a couple seconds to get them where I think they're okay and that's time that we're not DPSing. Uh, I'm not really sure why I have aggro, but I do. I wonder if I could soul stone myself. Yeah, we'll soul stone, soul stone ourselves. That's I think that's fine. <laughs> if we get ourselves killed, we'll just pop back up. We could soul stone somebody useful, but it'll be okay. Alright, and then we have to wait to see where he's going to tank them. Yeah, I don't like these AoE templates at all. <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe I like relying on Hand of Gul'dan and my Felguard for my AoE. That seems to be working better. Witness the full power of Milhouse Why am I taking damage? Guess I'm too close? So this one goes underground, right, and leaves like crystal spines on the surface that we have to avoid. If I'm remembering correctly. Uh, I think maybe just not standing in that would be a good start. Don't know what it was, it was a really weird effect and nothing seemed to happen, but... There it is again. I don't know if we should bother immolating here or what. Ah, he's underground. Alright, well, we're not doing too badly as far as damage goes. Uh, we are being out damaged by the tank, but I mean, it's a paladin, so. I guess that's fine. Maybe to be expected. See, he's got his uh, other guy out. Should we have our Fell Hunter out too? I don't know. Let's see if it affects our DPS at all.
I'm actually surprised that the tank is pulling this as carefully and as deliberately as he is. I probably don't want to be near that, do I? Guess we should do this here. Uh, we're definitely going to aggro this thing. That's not good. We're just kidding. Do we have to jump when they stomp? Is there is that the mechanic here? Like, they stomp, we have to do a jump, right? I I'm vaguely remembering some kind of you-have-to-jump mechanic. The music is really kicking out. Very tense. The whispers though. I remember trying to heal this back in the day and trying to keep eyes on everybody with all the line of sight issues here and having a really fun time. Seems we're going to have a similarly fun time trying to DPS it. Our fellow buddy over here, uh, our fellow warlock, is just going to stand in all the ground effects, I guess. I remember these guys, you just can't be in front of them because they go crazy with like a slash attack that can deal quite a bit of damage. That's what I remember about the flayers.
I'm assuming we're going to have to clear all of this, but he seem maybe not. He seems to be taking a very specific path down the middle. Uh, we can leave this stuff up, but I think that the boss has some kind of punt, and you can get punted into these extra groups. Hmm. Or maybe it's these guys that have the punt, the bruisers, I don't know, but... I remember there was an issue with leaving these groups up sometimes. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Somebody pulled. Oh, he's gonna pull all of them. Alright, now stay still. Oh, come on, man. Stay still. <laughs> he's just gonna keep pulling them around. None of the AoEs are gonna connect. So annoying. Well, <laughs> well, well. The soul stoning the healer would have been a smarter idea. I honestly didn't think we'd wipe here, but uh, yeah. We'll just hang out for a minute. Maybe next time we'll uh, soul stone somebody more useful. Soul stone the tank this time. Uh, I'm not sure why he pulled so soon, but uh, I guess what we'll do to help out is we'll get a pet out. Fun. Maybe not being the furthest one would be good. I think he targets whoever's furthest. So if we're in close, maybe we'll have a better shot of not getting stomped on. Yeah, see, he targets the furthest player. Who are we missing? Uh, we are missing our other warlock. Perfect. Okay, is he going to tank him there? That's the question. He didn't. He moved him. <laughs> it's like he's intentionally moving them out of the AoEs. Can't heal at all. I don't know, is it a healing problem? When I see a tank pull before like the whole group is there, like I'm kinda like I'm hard pressed to just like immediately blame it on the healer. I guess I could try to find out. I don't know, it looks like he's healing to me. Now if I looked at this and I saw like the paladin healing more, but that's not what I'm seeing. So yeah, I'm not gonna vote to kick a healer. Might vote to kick a tank, though. That might be something that I do. Yeah, we don't want to... Don't want to be in there. Don't want to be standing in that either. The cycle is complete. Well, this is good. I don't know why I have threat, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm getting far away now. Break yourselves upon my body. I still have threat. <laughs> Feel 
the strength of the earth. Well, this sucks. Can I, like, leash this guy since, uh, I don't think we're getting this. Well, maybe we are. Break yourselves upon my body. Feel the strength of the earth. It's crazy to me how much World of Warcraft players still struggle with a dungeon that's existed for over a decade. Like, this stuff is not hard. It's not hard, it's not worth getting annoyed with people over, it's just like, come in here, do your job, and get it done. Break yourselves upon my body. Feel the strength of the earth. We don't have to kick anybody, we don't have to complain and moan about stuff, we can just come in and DPS the things and heal the things and press our buttons and we can just get through this stuff, it's not hard content. Break yourselves upon my body. Feel the strength of the earth. Oh, we have a dead pet. That's really annoying. Break yourselves upon my body. Feel the strength of the earth. Break yourselves upon my body. Feel the strength of the earth. Kinda hoping this is the last boss, but I honestly don't remember if it is. No, I could look over here and see we have High Priestess Azil to defeat. Oh, we got a trinket. That's cool. Alright, enough of us getting stomped on now, thank you. Yeah, he keeps pulling him away from us, which is really annoying to me because it keeps resulting in us getting killed. Or crushed, or stepped on. Okay, can I use this? Um, I, I'm not, I'm not sure that helped at all. <laughs> not sure that helped us at all. Will we get there in time before this tank or the priest or somebody in the group decides to pull the boss? Probably not. I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to say that they're probably going to pull it as soon as they get there and they're not going to give two craps about where we're at. And if we're not careful, we're going to pull ads in this room, so let's uh, pay attention here for a second. I kind of thought we would zone in a lot closer to the group. I thought they had made some quality of life changes to that effect. Uh, but apparently not so much. This guy is just back here like, what is he, AFK now? Can I kick this guy? The world will be reborn in flames! If, if I'm running back, there's no reason for him not to run back. You're not getting your bonus experience if you're just gonna AFK near a wall or not participate or try. Uh, yep. <laughs> That's how I feel about that. 
All I want is for people to try. You come in, you push your buttons, you try to get into the fights. That's really all I expect. I don't expect anybody to be good. Uh, this is probably going to kill us. Let's see if we can get in, a, in heal range here. All right, we are in the fight. That's that's something. Witness the power bestowed upon me by Deathwing. Feel the fury. Okay. Of Where is this going to go? Nice. Can we DPS her while she's up there? Oh yeah, we can. She literally has a force grip, like a Vader force grip, and it's called force grip. That was close. For my death. And hey guys, it was a little bit rough, but we made it through. The burden is now yours. Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. We need to get back to the beginning. Can we teleport out and back in? And then won't that get us to the quest giver? Or is the quest giver going to change locations? I'm going to try a teleport out and back in. And that should get us near the front, which is where I'm assuming the quest giver is going to be. Oh, we didn't get the documents. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. All right. Well, I I'm not. I'm not too upset over that. It's totally fine. Missed out on some experience. Not a big deal. Oh, that was a little bit rough. It, it was probably more rough than it needed to be. And sorry, I know a lot of you guys aren't ab all about kicking people from groups. Usually, neither am I. But like I said, if I see somebody intentionally. At a moment, they've they've been running back, or they didn't release, and then they release, and they're not running back. I I'm going to kick you from the group. Well, I'm going to put it to a vote, and then democracy is going to decide whether you stay in the group or not. Here's the thing. A lot, of, a lot of times things happen, you might have to get up or step away at an inopportune moment. It takes one second to type something in the chat, like BRB, AFK. You could type anything. If you type something in the chat... I am never going to vote to kick you for going away from your keyboard unless you are away from your keyboard for a really, really long time. But if you don't spirit res and you don't say anything, and then when you do spirit res, you park yourself near a really safe wall area and you let the group run ahead and engage the final boss and you've said nothing still, then I'm going to kick you. Because I feel like at that point, uh, if you're not going to put in the minimum effort to move your guy or to say anything into the party chat, then you're not going to get the bonus experience. Sorry. Like I said, we'll, we'll never kick someone for going AFK who states anything in chat about having to go AFK. 
I didn't see anything come up in chat, so... Alright, so yeah, let's get the most exciting quest done here. We're just looking for bottles around the camp, because that's exciting. I don't know why people are, like, leaving alcohol all over the place. It seems like something that someone who works at Blizzard would probably be used to that, right? Leaving alcohol all over the place. It's probably completely normal to them. Okay, we can go a little ways out as well. What else do we have going on? Best lure. Okay. We have to go up to get large lunch. Yeah, maybe we should just be headed that way. Oh, we need we need saltwater snap jaws slain as well. This area kind of feels like, so far at least, it hasn't had a lot of changes. I, I think that what I thought might be new is maybe the dwarf quest is new. I don't remember there being a dwarf quest, but again, it's been a really long time since I've quested here. I remember fighting the turtles. I remember picking up the bottles. Uh, we need you. You probably used to be an elite. Uh, no longer, obviously. But you do have a lot of health, so that's good. At least you got something going for you. You got a little shield bubble there. It's cute. And there we go. Okay, that's bottles, elite turtle, and normal turtles done. Uh, we can come up here for stalkers, raven tusk warriors, bolstered, and then we need to kill some dwarves. 
Normally we'd have to take the switchback trail all the way up, but since we can fly now, we can bypass that entirely. I've always liked the hinterlands, I really like just the natural pine forest, the gently rolling hills, the little valleys. It's a pretty relaxing place to be. Doesn't seem like geographically a lot has changed here during the Cataclysm. And that's 8 out of 8 for the wolves. Let's head up here. We're looking for a named dwarf, Thornar Thunderclash. And then we need to... We need to bolster the Raven Tusk Warriors. Can we do that with these guys? Invalid target. Invalid target. Hmm. Oh, you've, like, respawned here already. That's nice. So some of these guys we can bolster. I think maybe the guys with shields. They're not called warriors, I'll point out. They are called stalkers. So that's a little bit misleading. Looks like we have the named guy in this pack with these guys. Oh, that worked out really well, didn't it? Oh, we, we completed an objective. That's nice. Are you telling me we can't fly up here? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Is this the switchback? Okay, no, they put us at the top of it. Okay, that's not bad. I thought we were at the bottom for some reason. <sighs> yeah, I miss uh, our demon skin ability. That was a cool, like, oh shit, you're taking a lot of damage. Maybe you should pop this. Obviously, we didn't have any health stones made. That was a miss. Could have had a soul stone on us. Could have done a lot of things differently. Ultimately, we didn't, and therefore we are filled with much regret. Much regret. I'm going to drink some coffee now.
the good news is we can use these guys again for the bolstering quest. We'll be a little less ambitious this time. We, we won't AoE like five of them. Could do a little better. I think we have to defeat the rest of these too if we want to get out of combat. Alright, last thing left to do over here is to go get large lunch from the island. Pretty smooth so far. And here it is. It does look like a peaceful spot to have a little picnic. Or it would <laughs> if there weren't a vile branch kidnapper. A kidnapper? Really? You're going to kidnap us. Okay. It didn't work out that well for you. Was he going to kidnap a lard? I don't get it. Oh, we're coming again. I clicked this over and over again. I can keep respawning him apparently. I don't even know. Have we collected it though? Yeah, we did collect it. Uh, Twilight Documents, we're going to abandon that. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's not keep clicking the basket. And let's get all this stuff turned in, shall we? Definitely going to take out the rare. Some crappy plate shoulders for you. see hunt the savages among the more <clears throat> excuse me among the more ornery of the wildlife of the hinterlands are the savage owl beasts many a good raven tusk warrior has been lost to the ferocious claws and beaks of the beast kill every savage owl beast you see and by every i mean 10 see ya later. i hate when they use like infinite language like any of them all of them everybody and then they say go kill 12. Uh, we got a couple of pairs of male bracers that nobody needs. Uh, did we get a chest? Yeah, we did get a chest from the dungeon. A couple of things, actually. Level 47 staff is going to be an upgrade, but it's going to look exactly the same as the one we have. And we did get a pair of pants that is an upgrade to us. Didn't get anything off any of the bosses for a change. Oh no, we got a trinket. That's right. We did get something. Uh, well, we need to go up, actually. Relax. 
Skulk Rock cleanup. Years ago, there used to be a horde base deep within Skulk Rock. It's been abandoned since then, but it's still prime territory worth reclaiming. The problem is, it's full of oozes by now. They're nasty things. Mindless, corrosive, eat anything they find. Okay, kill 10 jade oozes. And collect 5 ooze-coated supply crates. Do that. Oh, we can mount up here. That's excellent. What's up? Keep it real. What's beyond your mind? Be and that is level Still forty-three. Level. What did we get there? Was that a back? That's a headpiece. Uh, I think what we have is better, but we'll equip this for a minute. Oh, it's a little veil. That's actually really cool looking. Okay, guys, I think that we are going to take a break here for today. Let's take a look at our map. It looks like everything we have to do next is out in this area to the west of Stormfeather Outpost. So that is what we'll be doing next time. Thank you all so much for being here today. I really do appreciate all the support that you've shown the series means the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.